Yo, it's Coach Green back once again for day number two this week of free game. And today we'll be doing another low CNS day to prepare us for our high day tomorrow, recover from the work we did yesterday, and keep it rolling. So today I'll be doing some tempo runs, um, going 30 yards, roughly 70%, and it'll be uh, two sets of five at 70%, 30 yards. After each 30 yard run, I'll have a 20 second rest. And after each or after the first set of five, I'll have a two minute rest for our uh, tempo work or our low CNS work. The intensity level shouldn't be any higher than 70 percent, just so we're not tapping into something that could take away from our recovery and or our higher intensity work and not provide any additional benefit. So. This would be a great opportunity to talk about conditioning because essentially that's what it looks like and that's what in some cases it can feel like, but that's not what it is. Conditioning. Conditioning is to put into proper condition for action or use to adapt, modify, or mold to respond in a particular way to modify so that an act or response previously associated with one stimulus becomes associated with another. That being said, conditioning in the tense that it's used for most sports who may not know better is essentially just becoming aerobically inclined. Um, aerobic being the fat burning energy system where oxygen is necessary, so a lot of heavy breathing, longer, slower runs, more volume and kind of just seeing how far you can push yourself essentially but if we look at conditioning as we should from a literal definition of the word conditioning should be activity that prepares you for the actual activity or sport you're going to be playing so for example if we look at football the average football play is anywhere between on average four to six seconds so if we take conditioning, the literal term, trying to prepare you for four to six seconds at a very high intensity where you're going full speed majority of the time or full acceleration, four to six seconds, can, to condition for that activity, we shouldn't really be going any higher than eight, right? The longest football play is not going to happen majority of the time, so we have to prepare for what's going to happen at least 80% of the time, 85% of the time in any given sport. You know, just looking at the sport itself to determine what type of conditioning you're going to do. I know a lot, especially in the college ranks, a lot of colleges, thankfully, are starting to get away from the traditional conditioning test, uh, whether it be a 300-yard shuttle, 110s, multiple 40s. Um, none of those things are uh, high enough intensity, which is really the key in conditioning, is matching intensity with the test to the sport. Those activities aren't being achieved or aren't being practiced at a high enough intensity to actually match and carry over to the sport you're playing. That being said, with the tempo runs, 70%. Again, the low CNS day is primarily for recovery. Primarily. So the tempo runs are at 70%. Nothing I do, even though I'm not playing a sport currently, nothing I do on the high intensity days is lower than like 85%, right? Um, so starting with the sprint, whether it be a sprint or a jump, those are 90 and up. So that's the high CNS work. Everything under that doesn't go anything below 85% unless it's like uh, accessory or something like that. But if that's the case, then it's just accessory work and it's just to, you know, maybe flex or something. But low CNS day, not going above 70%. So these will be essentially anywhere between a jog and a run. So not either of the two, but just one focusing on mechanics and making sure those are fluid all the way through the run and just lengthening my stride as much as possible. Not really pushing too hard, just trying to get to the destination, take the rest, get the heart rate up, 
Go again. Two sets of five. Not a whole lot. All right. Here we go. sets of five these are the first set about 70 percent i can kind of feel it based off of how fast i know i run um about 70 percent 20 second rest in between each rep two minutes i'm on two minute break got like 50 seconds left between the first two sets um when i'm starting the rest time right after i cross the line so i forgot my stopwatch right my regular watch around my hand so I can just hit the button however I need to. But yeah, got one more set of five. Stretch it out and get at it. days first week i recorded and talked through three high cns days uh, but again you can based off of your training schedule how many days a week you train you can you can set that up however you like as long as you're not as long as you're recovering that's the the primary point um and really the main purpose of me 
starting this training blog is to just explain to you how simple really good training is and how if you know the right variables you can get it done don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment or fancy tools or fancy drills and exercises just the bare essentials as far as knowledge goes and then the bare essentials as far as application and effort and you can get it done on your own but I will continue to put out content and just break down all the different variables that can be manipulated within the training program to help you become the best athlete possible or somebody you know <laughs>